Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about the top 5 customers using query. So we are going to use order by and we will also use aggregate functions in this particular program. Before proceeding, I would like to tell you that uh, these are all the uh, social media which I have been using like LinkedIn, Instagram, my website, my blog, you can see everything on the channel banner. So if you want to follow me on any of these, you can just follow. And also I am uploading all the code, like whatever the code we are discussing in my GitHub page. Okay. You can also, if you want this uh, source code for your reference, you can just check it from here. You can download it. You can make use of it. So let us directly go into the topic like we are going to find the top five customers. Okay, top five customers and I'm going to use the customer ledger entry as a source table. Okay, so you can see the customers uh, customer ledger entry table if you want it in the object designer. So let us go and check whether it is there in the object designer. So you can find it here. So this object AL object designer is the extension which you have to download it from the extension icon. Okay, so we can just go and check like customer ledger entry. Okay, so customer ledger entry is the page and if you just give like a st dot ledger entry you can see that is a table okay we are going to fetch the data from the table we are going to find the top five customer sales okay so let us go to the query so as i told you can easily open the snippet using the t query snippet so you will get this you have to give the object id so give a unique object id and also you can just write the query name so since we are going to find the top five customers uh, top five customers okay customers by sale if you want to write it by sale you can also do it or else you can simply leave it top five customers okay and query type is normal because we are not going to use any api I'm going to use a caption because this will uh, help me to find uh, where is my particular. This is a caption. Okay. So top five customers. Okay. And then the next one will be like uh, uh, because since we are going to fetch only the five uh, customers. So you have to use the top number of rows. Okay. I'm just going to do it with the five. Okay. If you want to get top two customers, then you have to change it here as two. If you want to get top 10 customers, change it here as 10. If you want to get top 3 customers, then you have to change it here 3. I hope you understand. So these are all the default properties for a query. Okay, the generic query. And then we have to use an, if you want to make it as a descending or an ascending, so you can use order, order by. That we will see later. And now I am just going to uh, call few elements. So as we wanted to see uh, so i am just going to use only two columns okay or even one column anything if you wanted to add more columns you can write it okay so elements and here in the data item you have to tell which table you are going to refer fine so yesterday as i told this data item is the user defined name so you can give any name for this and we are going to take a customer ledger so once if you start typing no it will automatically show you what are all the table which you have okay you can anyhow use the same name of the table or else you can also write your own name for the table so as of now i am just using the table name so customer ledger entry and i'm just going this is the source table name this is the name which you have to give it exactly okay this is the exact name and this is the user defined name okay you can give your own name any name is fine and then i just wanted to filter okay so i'm just deleting it i just wanted to filter so you can write on what you are planning to filter so based on the date if you want to uh, based on the date you have to filter you can just give it so this is a posting date okay you can find what are all the um, column or the field which are available from here okay if you just click the customer ledger entry you can see the source code so here you have all these things posting date document type so based on what you wanted to do so you can simply get it and then try it so anyhow i'm just going to i'm just showing a simple example so i just don't want to confuse you much okay so this is the default uh, default syntax for everything so whenever you are calling a filter whenever you are calling a column so it should uh, uh, it should have an open and close curly brace or else it will show you an error 
okay so next i just wanted to display the column so i wanted to uh, call the column so i can call uh, for example customer number if you want to call the customer number you can use the customer number and as i told because since i haven't opened and closed anything so it is showing the error that is a red color error so you can simply open and close it okay got it so now if you want some more column you can use it so column you can call any column if you want some sales i wanted a sales lcy okay so sales lcy and if you want to give a different name you can give the different name for example if i wanted to find the top five customers how we will find based on the sales like how many uh, how much amount for how much price they have bought that particular product okay what is the total uh, total uh, thing for example i'll just i'll just show you this with an example so see i, I have a customer okay so this is the customer number uh the <clears throat> data based on or uh, the uh, invoice or something the price okay so this is the customer number okay customer name whatever it may be and uh, the sales happen for that particular customer how much they have purchased for that particular date imagine that this is the date okay so if you take customer one okay this is the customer one and you can take uh, this is the name of the customer and today he has purchased for example if he has purchased um uh, for nearly twenty five thousand, okay so it is uh, it is not mandatory that the person person should purchase that the customer should purchase only on a, one day okay even he may uh, purchase on the same date again in the evening or something else okay so he has purchased for fifteen thousand. okay sorry customer number one i'm sorry so this is the customer number customer name second customer so if you take okay third customer okay so he is by he bought it on 11 9 and he bought it on um 10 9 she bought it on 10 9 so she bought it for thirty thousand and for forty thousand and again shrimati customer has bought it on 16 9 and for forty thousand so here you can see that what we are planning to do is we have to find the top five customers right so how will you find the top five customers based on the sales which they made it so we have to aggregate the product once if i aggregate okay once if i aggregate what what uh, amount what will i get okay so if you take if you aggregate this the uh, customer that is zero one customer it, this will be aggregated that is one manju has bought for if you aggregate this this is for forty thousand okay okay irrespective of the date we are just aggregating the total sales okay and the second uh, customer has bought for thirty thousand and the third customer has bought for 80000 right so this is the top uh, that is the sum of the sales okay so if you take he she is the first customer that is a top one customer who has bought for the highest sales that is 80000 and the next person is 40000 and the third uh, top third customer is what 30000 okay i hope you all can understand what we are trying to do it here see uh, this is the original table with all the entries and i hope you all can understand what is an aggregation that is aggregate that is a sum of or total mark okay from this you will be getting only few data based on any primary key okay one how much for how much total price okay imagine one one two three three but uh, this is the original table but once if you aggregate you will be getting only three column okay one two three and the total sales which they made got it so that is what we are trying to do it here okay so i want the customer number uh, lcy scale uh, sales lcy sum okay or sum of sales lcy so whatever the name you can give so this is our user defined name okay and if you want any other if you want any other column to be included then you can also do that if i want a column and if i want the column to be included for example 
okay you can see here that this is the customer number is there so customer name i'm i also wanted to know the customer name okay which customer so i'm just using this okay so this is the total thing okay though so what i what i'll be uh, sh i'll be uh, seeing is what the customer name and the customer number in which order you want and then the sales here i wanted the total sales which they made so for that i am using the property call method and i wanted to sum if you want to find based on the average then you can use average so you can try all these things so i'm just trying to do go with the sum okay so since uh, if you just uh, if you execute this, let us execute this and see what is happening here. So this is my uh, query. So I'm I haven't used any query by category because uh, I just wanted to see this directly. So query category, okay. I just don't want to see anything uh, in this in any list. So I'm just going to execute this simply. Okay, so if you execute this, uh, I'm just saving this and in the launch.json you have to add five zero one zero seven and a query okay query as the type of the object and if i execute this okay i'm just simply executing this okay let us see what is happening so you can see the query here this is the customer number this is the customer name and you can see the five customers okay uh, but here you can see that it is not in a proper order so i just wanted to make it as a proper order so what i can do is i can go here and write order by okay and based on what you have to order it i wanted to make it descending or ascending whatever the order you want you can write it and you have to send the field which field you wanted to order so actually you have to send this column okay this name which is the user defined name you have used it so i'm just using to use the sales underscore l c y underscore sum so based on this i wanted to order it okay uh, sales the name is correct right s a l e y okay let me just copy this and uh, here i will paste it okay so now if we execute let us see what is happening here if we execute it so here you can see that how it is uh, properly arranged based on the sales okay i have told like based on this descending it has to like this column should be in the descending order so you can see that in the previous one you can see based on the customer number it is automatically uh, uh, arranged in the ascending order okay but here it is uh, trying to um, do it in the descending order so this is the descending order you can see here the difference like what happens uh, the sales lcy column is arranged it's sorted it's ordered based on the descending value that is the highest to the lowest and the customer number accordingly it has changed based on the sum of lcy sales so this is what we are trying to do it here and these uh, these changes are happening these filters are happening based on the column which we have given in the posting date based on the posting date so whatever you whatever the field which we are mentioning in the column okay whichever we are mentioning in the column method will be displayed on the screen you can see here customer number customer name and sales lcy sum is displayed and whatever you have mentioned inside the filter will not be visible for us okay it is just for filtering the data which is based on the posting date so order by order by uh, will order the query data set depending on the field which we are giving it inside okay so if you just go and uh, uh, see descending so based on descending and inside that you have to give the field name and based on this field name it will order it okay and the next one is the top number of rows so if i give top three okay let's see what is happening here so top number of rows is basically used to filter the rows by the particular number which we are just passing it here okay pass top three top one whatever it may be okay so that is what so top number of rows and you have to pass only the number got it and then you can uh, uh, see that on the top uh, that is a filter okay top three Okay, I haven't saved. Okay. 
so this will basically it has to filter the number of rows by the number and uh, in the method that is uh, uh, down you can see that inside the column whatever the method you are giving based on that it will be evaluated like if you are giving sum so based on the sum it will work or else if you give average based on the average you will find the answer okay so let us try to uh, bring that inside the um, uh, customer list okay so for that as we discussed so we have to use what query category okay so i'm just going to use the query category here query category which is inside the customer list so i'm just going to use customer list customer space list okay and then putting a semicolon let us see let us ex uh, let us execute this before that i will just change that uh, in the launch.json that is i'm just making it 22 and this as a page okay so let us execute this okay let it save and if we execute this let us see what is happening here okay so you have a top five customers here if you click here top five customers you can see the top five customers here okay so uh, this is what the basics which we should know this is a simple query but how to use the aggregate function and how to use the uh, order by and everything so and filter okay it will filter based on a specific column and you can add n number of columns if you want okay if you can add more columns and you can use uh, the aggregate functions properly for that and you can check that how it is working so try this and let me know uh, any other queries so because uh, a few things you should also know if you are trying for top 10 or if you are trying for uh, uh, any other uh, um, any other numbers be sure that that uh, records are there in your uh, records are there in your uh, ta table okay so uh, i hope you uh, you find something useful in this video in the next video i'll be explaining the complex queries in complex queries okay like what we can try is we can try um using the data item table filter you can also try with the sql join type and we can also try with the um, some more thing look uh, i will just think of something whatever we can try to use it in that and we will uh, i will show you how what is happening in that particular query and i'll also show you like uh, how to use this query this particular query in our regular coding okay we will be having a code uh, in uh, our regular table or in our regular page how to use how to imp uh, how to utilize this query in the page okay so thank you take care bye bye if you have any doubt please leave your uh, queries in the comment box and i uh, you can also uh, find the blog uh, here so if you click the blog you can also leave you will find some topic which uh, i am discussing here i am also posting that in the blog okay if you have any any doubts you can also leave the comment there i will be uh, definitely helping you out uh, and also i'll be uh, posting these codes here in the github you can find the source code here thank you take care bye bye